Well, if you are like a lot of people and you need a little bit of extra money, well, we're going to provide one great way for you to do so. Our friends here from E.D. Marshall are going to talk to us a little bit about how we can go through our closets and our jewelry box and make a lot of money Absolutely. in the process. Or maybe not a lot. This sure. is David Nelson, and we do welcome you to the show. Thank you. So, um, we have a whole table full of all different sorts of things, and we've heard about selling our jewelry. Right. Um, haven't heard as much about selling our valuables. Mm -hmm. And so maybe people think that um, this might be another way for them to make some sure. money. Sure. Well, you know, first off, I, I kind of like to tell people, you know, we were on before, and uh, we've gotten tons of calls and emails, you know, people asking what is their stuff worth before they come and see us. Um, and it's always complicated to do that over the phone, but, you know, we'll try to help you. But mm -hmm. one thing I like to kind of come on here and just kind of point out, this, this little pile of gold here is $20,000 worth of gold. So uh, that's, that's, that's a real good idea. You know, your class ring, it, it might be 50 it might be $200. You know, they add up real quickly. Okay. But, uh, you know, the stuff that we get lots of calls about is the stuff that's in the closet, the stuff that you don't know anything about. Uh, the coins your grandfather left you, uh, you know, the sterling silverware that you have, uh, the samurai sword that's in the corner somewhere. What about something like, like this? I mean, mo I know that I have some old coins some, um, that my grandfather sure. gave me. You know, any, any dime, quarter, or half dollar made in the United States before 1964 is worth considerably more than its face value. They before really, really 1964. Fast. Okay, that's a good tip. Um, what other unexpected things should we perhaps kind of dig through our jewelry boxes and our closets for? Well, you know, like I said, you know, sometimes you have things, you know, like this old Indian jewelry back in the 70s and 80s was, you know, real popular. Now yeah. not many people wear it. The bolero. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> some of these oh, things. Oh, come on. You know you wear yours. <laughs> of course. I, I love bolo ties. They're great. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's something that uh, there's not really that big of a market for it anymore, mm -hmm. but there are people out there that buy it. And we know those people, so we can sell it for you. Okay. I have to ask about the sword. Okay, this is a samurai sword. Uh, somebody probably bought it back from, you know, one of the wars over in Japan. Uh, this particular sword, is, it's not a super, super valuable one, but, you know, if you're not doing anything with it, it's about a $400 sword. Wow. Um, okay. I've seen some of these things that are worth 14000 So you bring something like this in, we can look at it and, you know, evaluate it for free. We don't charge you to do that. And uh, if you want to sell it, we can do that. Now, how, here's the deal. How do we know, though, when we go in that we're getting what's fair? And right. what, I mean, because there's a lot of sentimental value associated to some absolutely, of this stuff. Absolutely. And when you weigh the sen the sentiment with the actual value of it, how right. do you know it's fair? Well, like I said, you know, one great thing to know about us, we've been around since 1971. Uh, you know, we're accredited by the Better Business Bureau. We're A-plus rated. Um, that's a good way to start and check things out is uh, how, how reputable are they. Mm -hmm. And so. any other tips? I mean, should we come with kind of a, a price that we're hoping to get for it? And, Absolutely. And it, you know, if you have an idea in your head, you know, don't even be ashamed to, to say, this is what I'm hoping to get for something. Okay. Um, but, yeah, you come see us. We evaluate it for free. We don't charge you to do that. Um, and if, if you want to sell it, we'll buy it. If not, you know, you have a, a good idea what it's worth at that it's point. It's interesting. I've heard of these shows happening at places that aren't jewelers. Sure. So that, that I'm always a little skeptical of this. You've you got to keep in mind, what are they going to do with these things? You know, we're a jeweler. We're not only just a... A, a retailer, but we also manufacture, design, uh, we create things. So we need. So this if I bring you my twenty-four thousand dollars worth of leftover gold jewelry, we melt that stuff then down. Then you're going to we'll melt it and use things. it. Now, and sometimes you might bring me a nice piece of jewelry that I can turn around, refurbish, and resell, and that'll be worth even more than just the metals are. All right. Good points, good tips, and Absolutely. as always, it's nice to see you. Um, Edie Marshalls is located on North Scottsdale Road in Scottsdale, and their phone number is right there on your screen. It's 800-245-3142. Check them out online at edmarshalljewelers.com, and you should know that they have locations in Avondale, Surprise, Glendale, Phoenix, East Mesa, and, of course, the one in Scottsdale. Here's the deal, too. If you mention that you saw this segment, you're going to get an extra 3% bonus on anything that you sell them.